Hello everyone, welcome to our CLE degree college YouTube classes. So in today's video, we will study your physics subject for your class BSc first semester. Okay, for your BSc first semester, we will see your first unit in that the subunit Newton's law of motion and the linear momentum. Got it? So for your BSc first semester, in today's class, we will study Newton's law of motion and the linear momentum. So see here in that we will study law of conservation of momentum. So see here what is the law of conservation of momentum? It is stated that the momentum neither be created nor be destroyed. Okay. So what happened here the momentum is neither be created nor be destroyed. So next see here if two bodies collide with one another momentum before collision is equal to the momentum after collision so that the total momentum remains constant or it is said to be what conserved. So we will see here. So in that we have to remember only three point. What is that? So see here the momentum is what neither be created or nor be destroyed. Okay, momentum is neither be created nor be destroyed. But next what is the second point? See here, but momentum before collision is equal to momentum after collision. Okay, that is the second point. What is the third point? That the total momentum remains constant or conserved. Okay, got it? So this is what law of conservation of momentum. So what are the three points? Momentum is neither be created nor be destroyed. And second, before collision is equal to after collision. And what is the next last third point? That the momentum is what conserved or constant. So this is what the law of conservation of momentum. Okay. In that we'll see next. So see here, law of conservation of momentum of a single particle. So what is the law of conservation of momentum of a single particle we will see. Already we know that the total momentum is conserved. So in that for a one particle the momentum is conserved or not we will see. So see here what happened let m be the mass and v be the velocity of the particle. So the momentum they given what p equal to mass into velocity that is nothing but what p equal to mv. Already we know that the momentum is nothing but p equal to mv. Suppose consider here, here one momentum will taking place. In actitri, one moment actitri, is one particle actitri. One particle or one body actitri, one actitri, mass actitri. Okay, one actitri, mass actitri. Next, if the moment actitri, one actitri, velocity. In between velocity. So what happened? The total momentum equal to mass into velocity. So that is our momentum equal to mass into velocity. That is equal to what? P equal to mv. Okay. Here for a single particle means only we have to take m and v. Okay. One particle mass one there the three velocity v there the three. So next see here according to the what? Newton's second law of motion. Next in apply mod vikri, Newton's second law of motion apply mod vikri. So Newton's second law of motion in a 3, see here the rate of change of momentum is directly proportional to the external force acting on it. Got it? So see here that is what F equal to Ma. Already we know that the Newton's second law of motion is what F equal to Ma or the definition the rate of change of momentum is directly proportional to the what external force acting on it. Okay. So in that See here next, F equal to D of mv divided by dt. Okay. In a previous slide, see here, they given the Newton's formula F equal, second law formula F equal to mv. Next, in this, we are taking what F equal to D of mv divided by dt. Why? See here, we know that the second law of motion is what? F equal to mv. So here A is what? A is nothing but acceleration. Okay. A is nothing but acceleration. 
so rate of change of velocity is also known as acceleration that's why we are taking f equal to m into what dv by dt instead of a we are taking what dv by dt so next see here what we are doing we are taking here mv common so what we get f equal to d of mv divided by dt next see here already we know that p equal to mv so we are substituting here p instead of mv okay so we are getting f equal to dp divided by dt got it so next if the external force is applied to a particle is zero so here whatever the force we are applying or one motion daga in force is it not real zero it and rain up three that is dp by dt equal to zero so dp by dt equal to zero means elaine marva three so dp by dt equal to zero it three so in by the three p equal to zero p equal to zero means what p equal to constant so what is our conclusion see here showing that in the absence of an external force the momentum of the particle remains constant got it so external force is zero it and rain birthday three momentum constant or conserved birthday three okay so in today's up to this we already studied what law of conservation of momentum of a single particle okay next we'll see for a two particle what happened see here. law of conservation of linear momentum of a two particle so two particle and rain first of all we know that what is the linear momentum so here linear momentum is there so whatever the momentum will be takes place which is in a straight line okay one moment agbekandre en aktri straight line dag aktitri adene bartitri linear momentum so next here consider a two particle why we have to consider here a two particle because the law of conservation of linear momentum of two particle we are finding for the two particle that's why we have to consider here two particle okay see here for the two particle mass is what m1 what mass is m1 and m2 moving with velocity v1 and v2 respectively got it so next here along a straight line in opposite direction so here what happened we are here which type of momentum is happening linear not a angular so linear means which is in a straight line so which having a mass 1 and mass 2 having a velocity also v1 and v2 respectively along a straight line in a opposite direction okay so again we have to what happened here we have to apply or according to the which law newton's third law of motion so what is the newton's third law of motion see here every action is equal and opposite reaction got it what is the newton's third law every action is equal and opposite reaction so next for every action is equal and opposite reaction see here f12 equal to minus f21 so what is that so see here where f12 is the force act on a first due to second that is equal to what action okay next f21 what is the f21 is the force act on a second by the first that is what reaction okay that is what reaction so here already we have to apply or already we applied which law newton's third law every action is equal and opposite reaction so in a straight line here one particle is there two particle which having a mass m1 and mass m2 velocity v1 and velocity v2 okay by applying the third law what happened whatever the force the first force will act first after that it act to second ill en aagtidri first particle ge force apply aagtidri aamale second particle ge aagtidri so in a reaction side en aagtidri first uh, second particle ge force apply aagtidri aamale en aagtidri second particle ge aagtidri so we are getting this okay so next see here we have to prove this 
for proving again we have to apply which law newton's second law of motion by applying or according to the newton's second law of motion dp1 divided by dt equal to minus dp2 divided by dt okay so what to do next see here this equation is there we have to take see here dp1 by dt take this side plus dp2 divided by dt equal to 0 okay next what to do we have, we have to take the common d by dt so d by dt now common to one three inverted three p1 plus p2 momentum of first particle and momentum of second particle so again this goes to this side will become zero next what happened that p1 plus p2 equal to constant so here already we know that p1 equal to m1 v1 and p2 equal to m2 v2 so the momentum of two particle is also considered or constant so here what is our conclusion see here the linear momentum of the two particle remains constant or conserved okay what we proved here for a two particle the linear momentum is also constant or conserved okay so uh, in next class we will continue this so in that we will learn or we will study the linear momentum of a conserved momentum for a system of a particle okay